here we created one variable integer int number right and we are not giving any value into that just created declared this is called declaration we declared a variable so but in declaration we are not initializing what is initializing giving a value giving a value to the variable that we have not done then i am trying to print the data what what is the problem it is saying that we have to initialize it so after initializing like only after initializing i can use the variable even if i am creating a variable it will like without initialization it we cannot perform any operation we have to initialize so we discussed about creation and initialization in same line we can also create a variable as like this and in a separate line i can initialize understanding so what is this variable variable then what is this understanding the difference any doubt so variable can be declared and initialized can i initialize a variable without declaration can i initialize a variable without declaration why what is the reason how java will understand what is this right java will not understand what is this variable what is the type type it is a strongly typed language right java is a strongly typed language type is really important we have to specify the type so after declaration we can initialize or we can initialize at the same time when we are declaring so that is the two different ways correct we can initialize a variable along with the declaration or after declaring both are possible any doubt can i again create the variable for another data type long number equal to some another data with l what is the error duplicate can you do the same thing in your eclipse and see what is the error hope hope someone how tried the same thing right at least i i saw one person try the same thing okay what was the error showing same duplicate variable we will not allow right so once it is declared i cannot create again i don't have to create that again i cannot change the data type of the variable once it is created we have to follow that understanding so here i created the variable as integer can i again create the same variable as long no understanding any doubt so variable creation any doubt in variable creation and we will go for the okay i have also created some okay that i will show you later so what i given yesterday as a task we have to print the name age, age contact number, contact number height, height address email, email pin, pin. <clears throat> okay how can i select the data type for each data each values so name is a value right we have a name value where i will store the name value string, string. so i have to choose string then what can i give uh, for a variable name Email. Email. name i can give right so i am giving name variable always should start with small letter variable always should start with small letter even in method also you can see method is starting with small letter correct package method variable should start with small letters project name and class name should start with capital letter 
okay note down this in the same place so that it will be easy for you then how can I give the value inside the double quotes right we have to specify the double quotes what is the why, why we are using the double quotes here string representation representation of string so I given name then what is next how can I take age age so there is a difference between int long short byte what is the difference we already discussed about the size of the data type right size data type size so based on the data type size which one is coming first byte why it is coming first it can cut what is the size one one byte one byte means how many bits eight bits okay in one bit how many data I can store in one bit one bit zero or one we already discussed bit is a kind of switch it can only store zero or one so in a bit I can store zero or one right two datas correct in two bits I how can how many datas I can store two bits how it is for in one bit in one bit position how many datas I can store I can store 0 or 0 or 1 understanding in one bit position how many data I can store two datas are there right I can store either 0 or 1 so in two bit position in 2 bit position how many data I can store I can store 0 or 1 for the first position and second position also I can store 0 or 1 so how many total combinations will be there 4 how many of you are not understanding that concept can you please raise your hands raise your hands no problem we will discuss again like if I have one position one bit position how many data I can store 0 or 1 if I have 2 bit position then I can store first I can store 0 in this first position in second position also one second in second position also I can store 0 right right and I can change this position to 1 also this combination is also possible I can change first position as one so how many combinations we are creating four combinations right understanding now in two bits I can store four then tell me how many data I can store in eight bits what is the logic for calculating that two power two power the bit position right how many bits are there in one only one bit is there so how many po possibilities 2 raised to 1 what is 2 raised to 1 2 if 2 bit positions are there then 2 raised to 2 4 2 raised to 8 2 what is 2 raised to 8 256 right so 256 data I can store in 1 byte correct in 1 byte how many data I can store 256 is that clear and in that 256 we are talking right now we are talking about byte byte is one bit one sorry byte is one byte so in that one byte eight bits are there how many data I can store 256 in this 256 I can store the minus value and plus value right I can store either minus and plus take the half of 256 what is half divided by 2 128 so we can store minus 128 data to plus. 
so for storing age data which data type we can use byte right so byte age equal to we can give any data then what is next contact number right so what can be the data type can i use integer can i use integer why what is the range of integer this is why we required to know range how many data i can store in integer it is something around 9 digit value our mobile number is 10 digit so i cannot use integer i have to use long okay so in long data how many what is the range what is the maximum limit any idea 18 digits 16 or 16 or 18 digit you can confirm that by checking in google understanding in long we can store some i think 18 digits so anyway our mobile number will come in that range right so i we we can use that long long contact number see why i am using that n capital readability right then we can keep our so what is the error now capital capital or small letter l we have to specify for representing that data as a long understanding okay that is also done then what is next so what is the data type we can use float then we can give something uh, something what is the error representation of float is capital or small letter f then what is next gender which variable we can which data type we can use okay char then gender character or string i can take the, it is up to which type of data we are using like value we are using if we are using male or female then string if i am using f for m then character understanding so here gender character i am taking so what is the representation single, single quotes then we can give fine then what is next how can i keep address string because it is a kind of message right lot of characters are there combination of characters so i i have to use string data string address equal to double quotes we have to give the address then what can be the data type string right email equal to double quotes we have to specify right okay then what is next what can be the data type okay how many digits are there for pin code six digits are there right so anyway it is more than short range range of short correct so we can use int so this is how you have to select the data types pin code we can give any pin code what is the pin code of gachiboli correct then how can i print all the data we preserved all the data in our variables 
so we have, we can use that variable to use any in like in any operation we can use that variable so to print the data how can i use system then my concern is i have to get the data in an order of name then value again age then value so how can i get this order double quotes name name space colon space good why you are giving keeping that uh, name space colon space like it's okay like i am asking why you are gi giving that because i given a format right in that format only value is there right now with you only the value is there in our variable other than that value how many things are there here name space colon space so that you have to specify in a string getting my point then what we can do plus name what is happening while we are adding a string with another data type concatenation the so the second data dat, uh, second value will be converted into string and it will be added in the last position of the first data correct any doubt so we will get the value as name how we will get the value in console now understanding so in that way can you continue and print all the data is that clear any doubt i don't have to like keep all the data right it is same correct any doubts okay then i will give you one work so find out the results in a paper not in eclipse find the results so what will be the result of the first expression print 110 okay why it is print 110 what is which operator will perform first first one or second one so what will be the result that selected portion will become a string right print 100 then this this selected portion will become as a string and that string is going to add with the 10 correct so the entire thing will become string print 110 any doubt no then what is next which operator will perform first so we have to focus on operator operator precedence so which this operator will perform first right what will be the result 110 110 print, 110 print. correct yes. everyone any doubts third one 20 print okay good then 100 print 100 print 100 print, 100 print. 100 or 10 10 okay why it is 10 10 why it is 100 both i want both answers multiplication will perform first right so how many multiplication operations are there so which operation will perform first so what will be the result 100 next operation will be no that next operation will be what that portion 
so that will also become 100 then the plus operation will start executing so 100 print 100 any doubt is that understanding by everyone fine what will be the next one 30 print 10 200 any doubt next one this, this I have to calculate first. So, uh, which operator will perform first? 10 into 3. No, multiplication. In this line, all 3 operators are there, which is having same priority. Division, division, uh, modulus and multiplication have the same priority. Right. So, from that same priority operators, we, how we will find out which operator will perform first? Left to right, which operation is coming? Multiplication. So multiplication will perform. What will the, what will be the result? Thirty. Then which operation is next? Hundred by. What is the result? Divided by two again. Twenty five modulus five. Zero. So this part will become zero. Correct. So twenty minus thirty print. 0 plus 10. Which operation will perform next? 20 minus 30. What is the result? Then print 0, 10. Any doubt? Any doubt? So right now you are understanding what is operator precedence and also how concatenation is performing, right? Any doubt in this? Okay, then we will try to run the program and we will check. Check the answers. First one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one and last is that same any doubt store a kilometer value in a variable find out how many meter is that how many meters are there in that kilometer do that program how many variables required for this we have to store kilometer we have to store meter two variables are required right then what is the calculation in between con like conversion calculation how if i am getting 10 kilometers how many meter is 10 kilometer so we can do we know how to do the expression also right how to give that expression also we know so try to do that program understanding Take the kilometer value into a variable, find the meter, equivalent meter. Do that fast. So for that you can create a new class. In the same package, create a new class. Con you can give the class name as convert kilometer to meter so that also I am showing here the class name should be like this fine in this way you can create a class and try to complete that program so I said you have to create the new class I will also create the new class. What is the name? Okay. 
ओके आई क्रिएटेड द क्लास व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट पब्लिक देन then so inside main what we have to do we have to create a variable what is the data type while creating variable we have to check what data type we have to take right okay int okay kilometer kilometer equal to we can take any data right so i'm just taking 100 how can i convert this value into meter so for storing that result we required a data de variable correct we are finding we have a kilometer we are finding the meter so meter data also i can store in a variable right so int meter how can i convert that kilometer value into meter kilometer into into anything else required then how can i print the value <coughs> but if like okay i am giving meter what will i get how many meters are there is that correct is that correct yes or no okay but i required the output in a way like i want the output in this way can you format the output in this way everyone try to do that in your eclipse then we will discuss this is the output format i required in console how you can format this output think and do that in your eclipse then we will discuss how we can format that output here this is the format this output format i should get in console where where okay so i am just removing this part and tell me what I, what are the things i have to add kilometer plus double quotes km good space colon space then plus meter good what is the error <coughs> right any doubt it is simple right right now you are understanding all the basic formatting ideas and also how to convert these things right good so let's see what we are getting in console is that same good so any doubt in this if you have any doubt you can just let me know we will discuss is that clear everyone clear right <coughs> so we have discussed about java variables data types and we have discussed about arithmetic operators and some uh, like concatenation we discussed then how to use println statement that we discussed and output formatting so whatever we discussed you are comfortable with that right you can implement that in your program correct right yes or no yes. everyone 
ओके एनी डाउट्स एनी डाउट्स इन वॉट एवर फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग वॉट एवर वी डिस्कस्ड इन दैट एनी डाउट यू हैव डू यू हैव एनी डाउट नो नो कैन वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन ओके देन सर्च अबाउट हाउ मेनी ऑपरेटर्स आर देयर इन जावा वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एरथमेटिक सो हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट ऑपरेटर्स आर देयर चेक गेट ऑल द लिस्ट take a list like from the google search the operators and find out the list how many operators are there in each operator category how many uh, like in each category how many operators are that in that way take a list of operators we will discuss each and every operator so guys <coughs> create a new class you can give the class name as operator demo operators demo what is the first operator category in cat in that operators category what is the first operator arithmetic okay so how many operators are there in arithmetic operators addition subtraction multiplication division modulus increment decrement right what is the next one assignment what are the operators available in that equal to plus equal to minus equal to so all the combinations of this right all the combinations of arithmetic operation and also okay that that we will discuss later fine then next category comparing compare operator how many operators are there or the relational operators less than equal to then then greater than equal to less than equal to okay less than equal to greater than equal to then anything else that's it next logical operators so what is the represent representation and or not any other that's it we have bit wise that will also be like we will also discuss that bit wise what are the bit wise operators available and or and or then what is the symbol for it? right okay right then anything else shift operators so actually we can focus on this three shift operator also we can focus no problem so right shift or left shift right we will not use this bitwise operator every time it it is we will use that rarely i will give you that idea if you are not understanding you can just leave it because for understanding bitwise operator we have to know what is binary data binary equivalent of each numbers so if you are not able to understand that concept you can leave it because it is rarely using in a rare case we will use that that's it 
we will not use that commonly understanding so your focus should be on this four operators if you can understand this you can go for that getting my point everyone so in this do you like how many operators you know arithmetic no in that selected operators how many operators you know <coughs> plus minus multiplication division modulus any doubt in that five operators do you know what is plus plus do you know how to use it no we will discuss minus minus we will discuss that also then in assignment what is assignment operators any like do you, how many operators that you know equal to we, we know right how to use it do you know how to use that plus equal to minus equal to okay we will discuss that also from assignment operator we will discuss this from arithmetic operator we will discuss this then do you know what is the use of these operators okay if i am using less than operator what will i get as result true or false good so compare operators or relational operators will produce the result as boolean data note down compare operator or relational operator will give a result in a form of boolean values what we are doing in comparing what is comparing we are comparing two datas right if we are using greater than op operator then first data greater than second data what will be the result it will be either true or false right if it is satisfying we will say true otherwise false understanding so all relational operator is producing boolean answers boolean results so we, i will give you some example because that is easy that is why i am giving that first so 10 i am taking greater than 9 10 greater than 9 10 greater than equal to 9 then 10 greater than 9 is true 10 greater greater than and equal to 9 why it can be either greater than or equal to greater than or equal to right what is mean by greater than or equal to it can be greater than or it can be equal at least one of the condition is satisfying it will give true otherwise it will it will give false getting that point so tell me what will happen if i am giving think it is true only right 10 less than or equal to 90 it can be less than or it can be equal to 90 okay then i am giving it can be less than first data can be less than 90 or it can be equal to 90 understanding so it will become true now okay i think that display is interacting okay what is this what is this why 90 is not less than 9 90 is not equal to 9 so we can say it is false understanding any doubt we can use this thing in a variable also right how we can use that in variable so consider two variables what is the result
Any doubt? So we discussed about greater than, less than. What is equal to equal to? Why? Both datas are not equal, right? So if, if equal to equal to is like is the operator which we are using, then both the sides should be same. Then only it will give true. If both the sides are different, then it will give false. Any doubt? Understanding? Everyone? Then what about not equal? It is just mathematics, right? Number 1 not equal to number 2. True or false? True. 10 is not equal to 100. It is just a mathematic concept, right? What is and or not? What is and or not? So, like you don't have to think about programming concepts and all. In pure English, what is the use of and? And. And is using where in English? Can you make a sentence using and? Okay, I, I am giving you one, like one sentence. I need a book and a pen. I need a book and a pen. And I need a book and a pen. So what is the meaning of that line, that sentence? What I am asking for? I am asking for book and pen. Right, that means you have to give me both. Book and pen I require. Understanding? One in English sentence I am giving. Book and a pen. That means both I require, right? If I am saying the same sentence using book or pen, I need a book or pen. What is the meaning of that? Either book or pen. If I am, if you are giving book, I will be satisfied. If you are giving a pen, I will be satisfied. Understanding the difference? Pure English, we don't have to think about this is a programming concept or logical. That is just a English, you can relate that with your English language. Any doubt? So I am asking for book or pen. You can give either book or pen. One is enough. If you are giving both also, I am happy. Correct. In the case of or. If you are giving both book and pen also, I am happy for, happy for that. Right. I am Anyway, I will satisfy with one item. You are giving both. Understanding? So and means what? Both sides should be satisfied. Both items should be satisfied. Or means what? Either one is enough. One is enough. Then what is not? Not is actually for, like us, right? Whatever our parents are saying, we will not listen. Not. Correct. Same like us. Not operator is also performing. Or whatever I am saying, you will not listen. Same example we saw today itself, right? How many of you went outside? Can you stand up? How many of you went outside? Outside means outside the gate. Stand up. I know all the people, right? Best examples of not. Right? Sit down, sit down. Best examples of not. So, what is or AND operator, OR operator, NOT operator? What is the use? Okay, if I am giving two conditions and I am using AND, that means that both conditions should, should be satisfied. Then only AND will give true. Otherwise, AND will give false. If I am using OR, then either of one Either of one condition should be satisfied. Then OR operator will give true. true. Otherwise, if both the cases are not satisfying means false. false. Any doubt in that? Is that clear? So I will give you some example. <coughs> what will be the result? Why false? Why? 
what is the result of this part true okay what is the result of this portion so what is the use of and if both both are satisfying then and will give true otherwise and will give false so here what will be the result of and and will produce from this and will produce what what we will get from this and will produce what false any doubt so this logical operators this logical operators i can use in between conditions understanding this logical operator this logical operators i can use in between compare operators or i can say boolean also right what is the result of this portion okay i will run the program first Ah, uh, number two. Sorry. Okay. So, what is the result here? What is the result here? Okay. So, let's see what we will get. It, it is false, right? So, tell me what will be the result here? True. True. What is the result here? False. False. true and false what is the result false. both side should be true to get the true value from and correct here one side is false so we are getting false. we will get false as result so let's run the program now true and false what we are getting so this logical operator i can use with the condition condition or we can say relational operation or boolean data both are there right understanding what i'm saying instead of this what is this selected portion that is a compare comparing operator comparing operation right we we were com we are comparing something there understanding and after comparing we are producing a boolean data here also what we are doing comparing and we are producing a boolean data so logical operator you uh, actually what logic what is the use of logical operator it is comparing boolean data understanding logical operator is comparing boolean, boolean data and it is producing again boolean answer correct true and false it is again creating what a new boolean answer understanding that two boolean values are comparing by a logical operator and it is producing boolean. boolean data as answer so we will get one boolean data as answer right any doubt is that clear everyone so logical operator here here the result result of the comparing operator is or relational operator is boolean here the logical for logical operator also the result is boolean also the input is also boolean right inputs are boolean output is also <coughs> boolean understanding two in boolean inputs are taking it is performing and producing another boolean value any doubt is that clear what is and or not okay so and operation i given here can i use or what will be the result True. why one condition is satisfied even though the second one is not satisfying first one is satisfied so i will get true at least one should be satisfied so here the result will be understanding any doubt clear right then what is not operator it is and operator and uh, not operator both are binary operators what is mean by binary operators binary operators means not binary number operator binary operator means for performing that operation we required two operands unary operator binary operator ternary operator <coughs> unary operator means what only one operand is enough for for the operator only one operand is enough 
can you give me some idea about urinary operator you know some urinary operators no that is binary operation because two operands are there right minus 10 how many opera operators are there one operator is there minus 10 how many operands are there one so minus 10 so that minus is using for what it is not using for subtraction what is the use of minus there to give the sign value understanding so minus and plus can be also used for sign giving the sign or identifying the mentioning the sign correct at that time it is performing as a urinary operator so how we can perform plus equal to where we can use it what is the use okay so I have a data number is already there right number is al already there I have to do the operation number equal to number plus 100 then again number equal to number minus <coughs> 10 what will be the result in output number what will be the result in output calculate five hundred right five hundred right okay so here you can see one thing i am changing the number data and I am updating that change in number itself. Understanding what I am saying? I am changing, I am adding the number data with a value and that result I am storing in number. That means I am updating, right? I am updating that value, right? Whatever the number value is, I am adding that with a 100 and updating that as number itself. Like in that number variable itself, I am updating, I am changing the data. So from now, after this line, I will get the updated result in number. I will not get the previous value. Previous value is updated. Any doubt? That is clear, right? So we will not get, after this selected line, we will not get 10 as a value in number. We will get 110 as a value in number. After this line, what we will get? 100 as a value in number. After this, 1000. After this, that is why we are getting we will get 500 in this number number variable so let's run the program make sure that is 500 correct it is 500 right it is 500 right okay so this kind of operation like i am changing some value and i am updating that in the same variable that kind of operation I can do as number plus equal to 100 or here number minus equal to okay 10 then next one then number Divided by equal to, sorry, 2, correct. Any doubt? Clear? Is that understanding? So all the combination will be in the same way. Whatever plus minus or, or whatever equal to assignment operators are there, it is performing in the same way. It is updating, the, it is changing the value and up, making the update in the same variable changing the value of the same variable with the updated result 
Understanding? We are finding a like number is adding with the hundred and updating in number itself. Number is subtracting with the ten and adding the result in like uh, changing the result as that updated value. Same thing happening here also. Any doubt? Is that clear? Everyone? Then tell me what the, like we have discussed about assignment operators also. All these three are done, right? All that three are done, right? Any doubts? Any doubts? Okay, then we have to focus on these two so that four operators will be completed. <coughs> what is this plus and minus? This is a confusing topic, but I can give you a like clear idea of that in a simple way. If you are also focusing in the same way, it will be easy. So what is this plus and minus? <coughs> what is plus and minus? Plus plus and minus minus. So plus plus is incrementation and minus minus is decrementation, right? Okay. In this plus plus and minus minus we have post increment and pre-increment. Understanding? Take a note because you have to work out this thing in a paper. Pre-increment and post-increment is there. So what is mean by pre and post? Any idea? The, the meaning of that word is what? Pre and post. Before and after, right? Pre is before, post is after. Okay. So the easy one is pre-increment or pre-decrement. Here we can also say post increment or post decrement and pre-increment or pre-decrement. Is that clear? Plus plus means increment. I can use that increment as post or pre. Minus minus is decrement. I can use that decrement as post decrement or pre decrement any doubt in that no right then what is mean by pre and post how we can write a pre pre increment statement or post increment statement okay i am taking a variable int num equal to 100 then how can i implement that in, uh, pre increment how can i implement pre increment so plus plus num plus plus num so i am going to print that plus plus num because pre post means i will write num plus plus understanding pre means i will write plus plus num post means i will write num plus plus any doubt plus plus will go after if it is post plus plus will come before if it is pre that's it simple right so what will i get from this print statement why pre right pre means what the update of the variable will happen first then only that updated data, the result, updated result will be printing in the statement. Understanding? So what, what will be the updated result of this portion? 101, right? The value in the 100 will be incremented as, in, incremented by 1 and the result will be become 101. The result that 101 will be printing. That is pre. Pre means before doing any other operation, I will update the value. Before doing any other operation in that expression, first I will change the value. 
first i will change the value then i will do other operations understanding pre increment so what will i get correct your assumption is correct right then if it is minus minus then before doing any other operation i will decrement the value what will be the result 99 that 99 there is no other operations right in that in that portion only that decrementation is there there is no other operation other operation means i can also do some operations like minus 10 into so minus like minus minus now minus 10 into 20 divided by 2 what will be the result minus 1 any other answers minus 99 minus 99 result minus 190 90 19 99 okay 800 even i don't know okay whenever we are getting a problem what we are actually doing we are taking that and dividing into parts we will calculate it right so which operation will perform first here minus minus before doing any other operation we will start with the minus minus what will be the value here 99 right so 99 then which operator will perform next multiplication, multiplication. what is the result oh, then yeah. what will be the result yeah. done we will check the answer is that minus 1 yes. understanding how, what is happening in this code okay so what i am going to do is i am going to give you some more operations with num now what is the result One point. Acha. Acha. I will take one by one the answers. Ninety-nine point nine nine. Then one point nine eight. Good. Then any other answers? What? Only ninety-nine. Acha. any other answers acha any other answers louder louder i can't hear oh everyone is getting 99.99 Minus ninety nine. Okay. Fine. Enough. I am happy. So, what is the answer? First, what will happen here? Which one? Two decrement operations are there. Which one will perform first? What will be the result? Okay. What is the result here? what 99 then what is the use of this minus minus hello guys Na minus minus Na num is what decrementing right so what is the previous value of num 
प्रीवियस वैल्यू प्रीवियस वैल्यू बिफोर कमिंग इन टू द एक्सप्रेशन वॉट इज द प्रीवियस वैल्यू हंड्रेड वॉट चेंज विल हैपन इन दिस पोर्शन नाइंटी नाइन द डेटा ऑफ नम विल बिकम नाइंटी नाइन देन सो आई एम राइटिंग नाइंटी नाइन वॉट इज द प्रीवियस वैल्यू ऑफ नम नाइंटी नाइन वॉट अपडेट विल हैपन नाइंटी एट देन वॉट इज द प्रीवियस वैल्यू वॉट इज द प्रीवियस वैल्यू नाइंटी एट करेक्ट नाइंटी एट Any change happening in this line, in the selector portion? Any changes are happening? No. no. So we will take any doubt. <laughs> any doubt? Any doubt? No. Acha. No. Okay. So which operation will perform first? Division. Division. What is the result? One. One. Then what will happen? No answer. Right. <coughs> Undefined. we 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 were we were getting these kind of answers we we have we have not get the 100 as answer right even that point value is there we cannot take a approximate you should get the exact data right why you were not getting so there is an error error in the logic that we have to correct correct we have to correct the logical error so okay leave it anyway we will try one more what is the result this time you have to give the correct answer how many genius are there like i am seeing lot of genius in this batch because they don't want any paper and pen i will calculate okay acha 19 number is coming nine minus is coming right how many genius are there 199 199 right okay 198 1 any other answers Hundred. Any other answers? Come on, fast, fast. One ninety-nine. Okay. Okay. Majority are saying one ninety-nine. One ninety-seven. Okay. वन नाइंटी सेवन पॉइंट जीरो वन अच्छा लाइक आई एम नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ यू आर गेटिंग दैट पॉइंट वैल्यू हाउ यू आर गेटिंग दैट पॉइंट वैल्यू वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी लाइक वी आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट वैल्यू और डेसीम डबल वैल्यू राइट करेक्ट One ninety nine. Okay, everyone is saying that. Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen, everyone. Two hundred. Acha, I don't know. It can be two hundred also. So how we can solve this? I am tired. So what is the result here? What is the value? What happened? Hundred, right? Here the value is hundred, right? In the selected portion. Focus on the selected portion. Hundred. Then what is the value here? Previous value of this portion is what? Hundred. What change is happening? Ninety-nine. Then what is the previous value? Good. What is the value here? Good. Then. 
which operator will perform what is the result then which operator will perform what is the result what is the final result okay i don't know how you are getting point values hence proved we are getting 1199 any doubt guys i will give you one idea if you are doing multi, uh, like division operation while doing division operation if you are giving listen stop discussion and listen here while doing division operation if we are giving a value like this what is this data type int what is this data type int even though that is a small data if we are not mentioning any kind of data type for that it will be considering as integer so both are integer right if i am performing division operation in between integer what will be the result quotient quotient cannot be a point value clear any doubt we will get a quotient data right that we have discussed from the first day like on the first day itself we discussed about that if i am performing an division operation in integer data what will i get quotient, quotient. because this op this operator is using for what finding the quotient correct modulus is for what reminder, reminder. reminder. understanding so here all the operation we did is on integer value only right we are not using float or double if we are using float or double we will get the result in float or double format otherwise if we are using integer and integer what will be the result integer will be the result question will be the answer any doubt so what is the answer here 2 okay anyway you will not get point value that is what i am saying okay so if one to define then the value is stored in this one okay tell me again which one you perform this to add it with the oh this one acha okay 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 in that order we have to specify the number that's it understanding so here the value is what Hundred in that way from left to right order. Ah, okay, I understood. But in this way, you have to specify the values. From next time, you can follow. I understood. So at last, you are again coming back to this portion and updating. Ah, that will become like that will make a uh, different answer. So first, you can do. You can every time in an expression, we will start from the left side to right. Every time. understanding every time we will start from the left to right so at that time here the value is what the previous value num value that will be 100 then again we will move on to the next one there we will update the value after that the updated value will be taken in the second position understanding one by one every time expression guys listen every time expression will be evaluating from the left to right order so here it will like when it comes to this portion what is the previous value here 100 right that value will be taken again we will move on to this this position what is the previous data 100 what change will happen 99 then we will move on to the next position 99 then so in that way you can perform the logic getting after after uh, considering that values you can again go for the operator precedence based on operator precedence we will perform the remaining logic i will give you some more same kind of program so that it will make you clear idea on that fine what we are getting in this 
two, right? We are not getting two point something. Understanding what I am saying? Same, same what I am going to do is, what is this? 120F. What is 120F? F is using for what? Plot. So what will be the result? Any doubt? So when we will get floating point values? Or when we will get the decimal point values? When we are, per when we are performing division operation in between at least one float is there in that operand like in that operation then we will get the float data I, it can be numerator or denominator at least one floating point data is there performing in that division then we will get the result in point values clear any doubt so if we are performing division in integer we will get only integer data is that clear okay i will give you one more because to make that idea clear done minus minus and plus plus combinations are there so you have to figure out what will happen Make it fast. We have only discussed about pre, pre increment and pre decrement. We have to discuss about post. 298. Any other answers? Okay. Any other answers? Calculate again. Okay. Okay. What will be the data here? Two ninety seven. Two ninety seven. Okay. What will be the data here? Okay, here, good, here, okay, here, here, which operation will perform, what will be the result, one, is that one, Okay, one, then 100, then what is the result? 298. Getting right? Okay. Any doubt? So, pre increment and pre decrement is understanding, right? Pre-increment and pre-decrement. Okay, what is post? Post-increment or post-decrement? After performing all the operation, we will change the value. It is opposite to the pre-increment or decrement. In pre-increment, before, before doing any other operation, we will update the value, right? In post, what we are doing? After doing all the other operations, we will change the value in the variable. So, the operation is going to change the value when 
after doing all the all other operations all other updates getting my point so basically we can say that post increment will give the pre value to the operation pre value of the variable to the operation we will do some example so at that time we will get to know that clearly what will be the result here what is this again i am saying now it is post increment post increment means what we will take the previous value to the operation and after giving that previous value to the operation we will update the value understanding so here 100 is the previous value 100 is the previous value to the operation this this position so we will give 100 to the operator operation A operation is what multiplication right to that operation we are giving previous data 100 be given and number is changing the value right now the num value is what the updated value of num is 101 previous value is 100 fine so what will be the updated like last value here 10 One, then, what is the updated value here? It is pre-increment, right? Pre-increment means what? Whatever the last value is, we will update it. What is the updated value? What will be the result? What will be the result? Here, one operation is there. One zero one zero zero. Plus one or two. Okay. What will be the result? One zero two zero two. Correct. Okay. Let's try. <coughs> getting that answer is getting here, right? Okay. So can you do the operation right now? Wait a second. Let me complete it first. Okay, you can continue. This is a confusing topic, but if you are thinking what, like in a way that I am giving that idea, then it will be easy. we have to if it is a post operation we have to take the previous value if it is a pre operation we have to take the updated value simple understanding if it is a post operation we have to take the previous value post operation previous value pre -opera pre operation updated value that's it you can note in that way 10099 okay come on any answers any different answers i got one answer 101 uh, okay any other answers okay now oh, already i got that right any other answers acha okay ah 10101 10, is there uh -huh. one person getting two answers 0201 no. acha okay <laughs> okay see when you will make one single answer okay that is there 9 8 acha okay that is also there
Any other answers? Okay, we will execute. What will be the value here? What is the operation? Listen everyone, what is the operation here? Post or pre? Post operation means we will take the previous data. What is the previous data? 100 we will take. Fine. So, updated value is what? Previous data is 100. Updated value is 101. Like you have to remember that. Then what is this? Again post. Post means we will take the previous data. What is the previous data? Previous data is actually the updated value of last operation. What is the updated value of last? 1. 1. So what is the updated value here? 102 is the updated value. Right. Keep that in your mind. Then, which operation is performing? Post or pre? Again, previous data. 102. Then, what is this? What is that operation? Pre means we will take the updated value. So, we will update that previous value. 102. 102. What is the previous value? 103. What will be the updated value in pre? 104. Getting? Getting my point? Any doubt in this? What happened? Ah, 104. What happened? Explain. Okay. Listen again. <coughs> Two things you have to note. If it is a post operation, we will take If it is a post operation, we will take previous value. If it is a pre-operation, then updated value. This you have to keep in your mind. Pre-operation, uh, pre-operation, updated value, post-operation, previous value. Understanding? Pre-operation, updated value, post-operation, previous value. So, in this line, which operation is performing? Pre or post? Post. That means which data we will take? Which data? Previous. What is the previous value? 100. So, previous value we are taking to the operation. Correct? After giving that value, we will update the value. What is the updated data there? 101. Any doubt? Okay. So, we are going to the next position. What change is happening previous pre-increment pre or post-increment? Post. Again, previous value. What is the previous value? 101 is the previous value, right? 101. What is the updated value in that portion? 102 is the updated value in this num, right? Now, okay, we will go to this portion. What will be the previous value? 102, right? Good. So, updated value is what? 103 is already updated in num. After giving this previous data, it will update the value as 103. So, what is the operation here? Pre. Pre means updated data. So we will update the data. First we will update the data. What is the previous data? 103. 103 will become updated as 104. So that 104 will be taken here. Any doubt? So what is the result now? 1100 plus 12 plus Minus, sorry. Yes, minus 4. What is the result? 1, double zero, nine, eight. 9, 8. Good. Any doubt?
correct understanding how to calculate this only this this you have to think post operation is happening then previous data pre operation means updated data not down this point you can do any operation any program like any uh, code snips you can solve using this code snips means what a piece like it, uh, in in uh, online interviews you can see some code right in that this pre operation post operations will be there you will confuse how to get